Sapiens was about our past, how we transformed ourselves from insignificant apes into the rulers of planet Earth. Homo Deus is about the future, how we will try in the 21st century to transform ourselves into gods, how we will try to acquire divine abilities, like the ability to overcome old age and death, and the ability to engineer and create animals and plants and even humans according to our wishes. From Homo sapiens, wise men, we will try to upgrade ourselves into Homo Deus, God men. War is becoming obsolete. Uh, today in the world, more people kill themselves than the number of people killed by war and crime and terrorism put together. For all the talk and all the headlines about terrorism, uh, the average European or the average American is far more likely, a thousand times more likely, to die from eating, eating too much than from terrorism. From this perspective, Coca-Cola and McDonald's are a much greater threat to your lives than Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State. Famine is also disappearing. Throughout history, most people were always in danger of famine and starvation. Today in the world, natural famine has completely disappeared and only political famine has remained. If people die from not having enough to eat, it's not because there is not enough food or there is no way to transport food to them, it's because some government or some political organization wants them to starve. For thousands of years, death was considered a metaphysical phenomenon, a part of God's plan for us humans and for his creation. And it was thought that only God, by some grand metaphysical gesture like the end of time, might solve death. But today, science thinks that death is just a technical problem. And we don't have to wait for God or for Christ's second coming in order to overcome death and old age. A couple of geeks in a laboratory can do it. However, it's going to be very expensive and therefore it's unlikely that everybody will enjoy the new anti-aging treatments. Whereas immortality is in, equality is out. It's often asked what, what life would look like in the 22nd century and the answer is that nobody has any clue, any idea, uh, because the main products of the 21st century are going to be bodies and brains and minds. We are going to learn how to engineer and produce ourselves not only how to engineer different tools and vehicles and uh, robots and weapons, we are going to learn how to engineer ourselves. And what the outcome of that will be is impossible to imagine because we'll be able to re-engineer even our imagination.
humans are in danger of becoming useless, just as the 19th century industrial revolution created the urban working class, so now we are seeing the creation of the unworking class. People who are not just unemployed, they are unemployable. And this obviously causes a lot of anger and anxiety. In addition, authority is already beginning to shift away from humans and we are not sure where to. Uh, and this too causes a lot of turmoil and a lot of fear among larger and larger segments of the population.